It's the 1991 UIL 5A State Football Championship. Today, we will witness the Division II battle between the San Antonio Marshall Rams and the Odessa Permian Panthers. One of these teams will be on top of the world at Texas High School football in a few hours at the San Antonio Marshall Rams right after this. But Shane Wells... A junior ready to kick it off for Permian. They lost the toss, and Marshall with Todd Siebert in the middle of their three-man kick return unit. This is Holmes from the five to the 25-yard line, and he's still there, and the Rams will start under the tutelage of their fine starting quarterback today. And we say starter only because we see Mark Saldana for the first series. They are really equal. Saldana and his backup, David Salmon, they alternate every series, but it's Saldana's game from the opening kick today. He's a 5'11", 165-pound senior. They don't do much passing at all. They have averaged only 35 yards per game. They've only thrown three touchdown passes all year. And right away on the ground, gouging out about six is the fullback Reza. Six foot, 212 pounder. Then the Panther defensive line. Off left tackle, first down. As again, Reza got the call. Tony Perez made the tackle. The Panther defense, Daniels, Moreno, Brooks, and Sims. The linebackers, Tucker, Comer, and Collins. Kelly, Perez, Wagner, and Pedersen in their secondary. And they don't give up yards easily. 154 total yards allowed per game. One touchdown per game on average in their 15 victories. First time we see Holmes, quick pitch. And spilled at the 41. Tucker from strong side linebacker, 62, making the stop on Anthony Holmes. He got three, second and seven. Reza spinning only to the 43, and it'll be the first big third down situation for Marshall. So third and five, and it's Holmes. And a big hole and a first down. Panther territory at the 45. Great strength. He is their strongest in the leg press of anybody on their team. This is raised up. Might have stretched forward for a half yard or so. Tucker and Comer up from linebacker combining for the tackle. Ball at no gain in second and ten. Again, toss sweep Holmes. Cut back. And to the 31-yard line for the first down. You saw the leg strength there. Also strong upper body, great vision, great cutback ability, and he will have his pick of college football to play. He can go about anywhere he wants. Well, I heard that John McAvick from the University of Texas did First down, this steady march after the opening kick, now to the 28-yard line on raises to a three-yard dive. Sam Brooks, the right defensive tackle on the stop. Byzantine puts a lot of pressure on his guards today. Mark Brown on the left side and Doug Wilson on the right side because Collingshead's defense, with their lack of size, however big they are, plays great technique football, great fundamentals, and Brown and Wilson will have to control their tackle. So far, so good. Holmes again, big hole again, and he is inside the 20-yard line. Another first down. The 11th play of the drive. Reza to the 18. Very active start for Michael Comer, the middle linebacker, 200-pound junior. <laughs> Obviously. Second and 10, Holmes to the 14. And we'll have our second challenging third down situation for Marshall. Holmes to the nine. This is going to be very close. He needed five and looks to have gotten at least four and a half. The strong side end, Tony Daniels, made the tackle. got it on about
about a two-yard pickup. Reza has first and goal. Efrain Moreno, the left tackle, made the stop. That's confidence right out of the gate for David Bizzle. And I, I think he realizes he needs to make that kind of call at this point in the ball. Five first downs on this 14-play drive. First and goal pitch hold. Creates his own space there and picks up about four down to the five. Daniels on the stop along with Pedersen up from Rover. 4-13 to go, second and goal. And it is Reza to the one-yard line. Dragging three or four white jersey Panthers with him. Full house behind Salvata on third and goal. Reza for the touchdown. So the decision to gamble on the fourth down pays off for Byzantine, and the Rams and the kick by Jason Briggs is good. 7-0 Marshall. Henry Woods will kick for the Rams, who take the opening kickoff and march and lead 7-0. 3.31 to play first quarter. Hermian not used to being in this situation. Only four times all year did they ever trail in the first quarter. And the return from the 19 up the left side with an alley to the 38-yard line. Alan Strambler sets up the Panthers in good shape. Strambler with a 21-yard return has the Panthers set up at their 38-yard line after Reza's 25th touchdown this year. And the Panther wings, see, they break it actually with both wideouts on the right side. And Case with the pitch to Hamilton. Big yardage up the middle, and he lost it. And a ram recovery at the 33-yard line. It is Mike Gann on the Hamilton fumble. First turnover in three games for Kermit. you are of a ball club. When you get to a championship game, you cannot afford to turn the football over and stay in the match. You'll see a good run up inside, and then he's hit. Number 25 hits him with the ball. Siebert, which is a big play man for them in the secondary, and then an outstanding job by number 21, Mike Gann, coming up just getting on the football. Hollingshead trailing and sees his team coughs it up down 7 to nothing. We'll be right back after this message from our local station. Permian, after seeing the 7 nothing lead put up, fumbles on the first play from scrimmage. And the return from the 33, and number 33, Holmes, on first down, as we see the second quarterback for the Rams, David Salmon. And again, they will alternate every series. Saldana started, so in all probability, Salmon will open the second half, and they'll go back and forth series by series. Both quarterbacks, good, solid performers. Nobody usually overshadows the other one. And the quarterbacks, they're friends, and they understand the situation, and, and they've gone along with it throughout the season. Salmon admits it was a sophomore two years ago. He had trouble with the concept, and he quit for one year. Came back last year and accepts it. You see his numbers and flags down. Movement on the right side of the Marshall line. The tackle, Tommy Jaramillo. was second and eight now it turns into second and 13. today's game being carried on radio statewide by Dam diamond shamrock oil company diamond shamrock has carried the 4a and 5a football playoffs since 1966. out of the eye this time holmes dropped for a loss at the 21 to get there. Will Wagner from safety and quickly joined by Tony Perez and that's a different Panther defense than we saw in that first drive. It's called team pursuit. 11 white jerseys all around the football. The toss sweep to the left side. It has been successful to the right. This time they've gotten into the backfield and all the Mojo Panthers were in the backfield trying to slow down home. That's good team's pursuit. Loss of seven. So third and 20 for the Rams. 
clock rolling inside a minute 40 first quarter. Again out of the eye. And they run the reverse. Siebert lets it fly and it will be overthrown intended for Jason Briggs with a flag down at the line of scrimmage. It's a holding called on the, the Siebert incompletion to Briggs. Siebert, by the way, defensively, the man who caused the Hamilton fumble. And so fourth and 20, and Sean Noster on to punt. And the Panthers play for the return. Permian bounce, and they will have it set up at the Marshall 46-yard line. At 1 minute, 13 seconds to go, first quarter. At the conclusion of the game, Craig and I select the MVP for this year's 5A Division II championship game. Here's the way they got here. 13-2 for the Rams. Of course, those two losses without Holmes. A perfect 15-0 slate for the Panthers. And statistically, they are both dominant. Depending mainly on the run, Case the better passer. And when he passes, he usually doesn't mess around. He averages nearly 20 yards per completion. Hamilton again, big yardage up the middle. And close for a first down at the 35 before Will Flowers finally wrapped him up. We finally get a chance to look at the Panther offense with Case Hamilton and Williams. Bergen is the wingback, Daniels the tight end, and Kendrick Parrott is the wideout. Up front, they go with Cochran, Sims, James, and Lubin, and Lockie. And it is a first down. They list Hamilton at 192. Visiting says add about 20 pounds to that. This is Williams for the first time, and he is at the 31-yard line, belted by Flowers at 170. A better matchup for Williams than he is for the big Hamilton. Now the Marshall defense, Kenyon, Mazur, Junick, and Kalu up front. The linebackers, Robinson, Short, Noster, and Gann, and in their secondary, Flowers, Siebert, and Fuchik. Williams for three, second and seven, 32-yard line. Will Flowers, oh man, what a message he sent from the secondary of Marshall on that hit. Locking back Michael Comer in to lead the sweep. Williams caught from behind by the nose tackle, Junik. Also Gann up, and that will do it for the first quarter. Junik, the 270-pound nose tackle with good penetration. And, and the play here is made by number 21, Mike Gann. He took out two blockers by himself. The ball comes loose, but it was down on the ground. The ground caused the fumble, which could call me the officials. So the end of the first quarter with our score, Marshall 7, Permian nothing. We'll be right back after this message from our local station. The football with a minute 37 each quarter, you won't score too many points. The only games in which Permian did not score in the first quarter against a couple of Amarillo teams, Amarillo High and Pascosa. Third and seven. and that one just inches long. 50% during the playoffs, almost 50% during the regular season. So much emphasis is placed on the running game of Permian trying to get in there and slow it down. Hamlin's been successful early on that he almost is able to get behind everybody, yet it just wasn't there. Wagner just couldn't quite reach out and get the ball.